do 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 Hello, everybody. Wolf Fang here. Today is Thursday, June 6th. Yes. D-Day. Uh, 80 years. That's That's pretty crazy. And... There are 70, maybe a few more, but uh, original men from that war, that hell. So, of course, you know, they were talking about it on the radio and, and had a couple special people come in and talk. It was really, really interesting. The one thing I had never heard before, and this came up, was uh, Roosevelt's prayer. I was like, okay. And they didn't really talk about it. So <clears throat> I came home and looked it up. So I want to share part of uh, what he said back then in, in his prayer. He said, Almighty God, our sons, pride of our nation, this day have set upon a mighty endeavor, a struggle to preserve our republic, our religion, and our civilization, and to set free a suffering humanity. Lead them straight and true. Give strength to their arms, stoutness to their hearts, steadfastness in their faith. They will need thy blessing. It was just that little bit was pretty damn strong. I felt it when I read it. And what I'm getting at is we've lost all of that just about. Those young men that went in that day, they were teenagers. They were 18. And that shit turned them into men real quick. The ones that made it. Some of them lied about their age. Some were 17. They wanted to fight for their country. They And they knew they might not come home. Heroes. So we sit here today, 80 years ago, that went down. That's hell. Those young, those young people saw hell. There's no other way to put it. So, I just wanted to uh, just say something about you know D-Day, the history. It's history, and uh, it's. <laughs> I don't I don't know what else to say. But uh everybody have a great Thursday evening. This is Wolfang, blessed be. Stay safe and I will bullshit with you later. Bye.